Good morning. Well, it's about nine o'clock in the morning and I am here at the East Beach picnic area. Um, this is a place that I love to uh, access the water in Algonquin Park. Um, there is rain expected today uh, around noon. It's uh, nine so I should probably make it there and back in time. Just looking forward to being on the water and uh, hopefully seeing some wildlife and uh, going for a nice nice peaceful paddle. There are no cars here in the parking lot. I'm really surprised and uh, super happy about that. All right, well, I'm all ready to go. Boat's almost in the water and uh, it was sprinkling when I was unloading the boat off the car, but uh, it's stopped now and um, it's pretty mild out anyways, but I do have my rain jacket just in case and uh, I'm gonna take a little trip down the waterway. Um, I'm actually not sure what this waterway is called. Um, I've never seen a name on the map. Um, basically, this is uh, the top of Lake of Two Rivers and uh, at the East Beach picnic ground here. So basically, I'm gonna go down the waterway towards Pog Lake and uh, it's a really pretty meandering waterway. It's very quiet. So um, I'm super excited to get out and explore. Hopefully see some wildlife and um, have some more fun paddling this beautiful canoe. So here's that setup with the uh, water bottles just to show you. And uh, it actually keeps them under the seat most of the time. It helps keep them cool when it's sunny. And um, I'll be using that portage uh, yoke setup probably today. Um, depending on how the weather goes. It seems to be clearing up even though it was just raining. So fingers crossed. I was going to... Uh, do a little film of me getting on the water, um, setting up the camera on land and then paddling away. But the bugs are just so bad I had to go. <laughs> so again, they're not biting me, but they're just annoying. So uh, now that I'm moving and the wind is blowing a little bit, um, they're clearing up, so that's great. It's just beautiful out here. The sun is peeking out of the clouds and um, I'm gonna flip this sucker around so you guys can see. The water is very high right now. Um, there's a sign right there. If you can see it on the left side of the uh, screen. And uh, that's usually sticking out of the water quite a bit. Um, also where I put the boat into the water, um, there's usually a bit of beach there. And uh, that was missing. Well, I am in pirate mode now. <laughs> I um, was going to put my hat on with my bug net and um, I have my bug shirt, but apparently my bug net didn't make it into the pack. I did pull it out yesterday, but I'm not sure where it is. Not a big deal. Um, I have my beige headliner, which is sprayed, and uh, I've just put that over my ears and over the top of my head because the bugs were just like all inside my hair and getting in my ears and again they're not really biting they're just annoying and making that buzzing sound that drives you insane so um i'm good now i'm uh, happy because the sun just came out and it's absolutely gorgeous out here and i'm the only one out on the water um, so that's pretty great. I'm gonna try to be really quiet because I really, really would like to see some wildlife. And it's something that I never get to see when I'm out. But uh, maybe today, fingers crossed, I'll see something. These bugs are relentless. Um, it's, I don't know if you can see them. I'm gonna sit still for a second and just see if you can see them. Oh, of course. 
hours and I can hear them. <laughs> the wind picked up quite a bit. As soon as I got in the canoe, the sun came out and then as soon as I went around the first bend, the wind picked up. And I was like, oh great, the wind is here so that'll keep the bugs at bay. And they're still everywhere. Like there's a big circle of them all around the canoe. <laughs> Oh, it's too funny. You know, it's funny because, um, like, I camp year-round, so in the winter you go out and it's cold and there's snow and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But you kind of forget about the bugs. You get so used to not seeing them and not dealing with them. And then all of a sudden you come out in, you know, May or June and these little creatures just start buzzing all around you and you know biting you biting you and <laughs> making you itchy and just being pests and um, you kind of forget about them you know I'm sure I'll get used to them after a few trips out but just being my first time on the water and having the bugs have just like all hatched and stuff <laughs> it's just kind of crazy it's all right, I got my pirate cape on. <laughs> They're like in the back of my hair. <laughs> I can hear them buzzing in my hair. Oh, goodness. Good times. Still happy I'm out. No regrets. Okay, so I've just entered Pog Lake and now I'm gonna go through to uh, the little part of Pog Lake. You can see the, uh, the beach over there from the campground. I've been there before. Um, stay there. It's a nice little campground. Normally I wouldn't come here at this time of year because it's usually, um, well, first of all, I'd be camping right now because it's Sunday. So I'd probably be out somewhere amazing in the backcountry. Um, but to come here for a day paddle because there's campgrounds all along this section and um, I like to come when the ice is out just at the really beginning like early early in the season before the campgrounds open um, but because they're all closed it's just so peaceful out here and there's nobody out here and it's really really nice it's got to be in my bag it's just got to be in my bag To a bit of a windier section on the water and um, as long as I keep paddling the bugs seem to be staying away so I'm gonna have a little bit of a snack and starving um, I've been up and out since early this morning and um, had an egg sandwich on the way but haven't eaten anything since so brought a couple of hard-boiled eggs they're already peeled and then salted and uh, basically I just have to stop long enough to open up the lid and grab one and stuff it in my mouth but um, every time I stop paddling the bugs start coming near so kind of holding off I, I'm starting to come up I can see the barricades for the dam up ahead um, which is where that little portage is I think it's only like 150 or 200 meters like it's really small from what I remember um, just have to kind of go up a little hill you cross the bike path and then go down the other side and put back in so I'm definitely gonna be doing that cuz it's still really early egg <laughs> mm. protein There's the dam. If you look just to the right of it, you can see where the, the portage is to get around it. All right, well, even though it's a small portage, I'm gonna do the portage setup just to practice it. And uh, I just have my backpack with me today, so I'm gonna see if I can 
carry everything in one shot, which I normally don't do, and it's kind of senseless because I have to come back and get the camera. But I thought it'd just be fun to do it and try anyway. So I'm gonna see how long it takes to do the quick portage setup that I do with the pillow and everything, and then off I go. Okay, that's done. My bag. we're off. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Well, because the canoe is so balanced and I spent so much time yesterday getting it just right. I actually passed the camera, <laughs> backed up, balanced it on my shoulders and back, whatever, um, long enough to pick up the camera <laughs> and bring it with me. So now I have all of my stuff with me. There's the dam. That it's just a really small portage. It's good practice. bunch of fish. Oh look at them all. Oh my goodness. Can you see them? Wow. There's tons of them. They're big too. Holy smokes look at them all. See all the little fins and tails sticking up? Oh it's so cool. Sun makes it better or worse. I'll just sit here. Right under my boat. Look, look, look. Oh, that is so neat.
always awesome seeing those fish spawning. Um, I've seen it once before in, in Niagara at, um, I don't know if it was 15 Mile Creek or 16 Mile Pond, whichever they call it, but uh, so cool. And um, I was really enjoying filming them. But, uh, you know, I know that the weather is supposed to turn in a few hours. So I'm doing my best to kind of get in and then get back out before that happens. Um, there was thunder and lightning predicted for where I live, but only just some rain here. And this morning when I checked, it's thunder and lightning here as well. And that's starting around two o'clock today. Now that's not always 100% accurate, so I want to try to be off the water by about one. Um, I've been out here for quite a while now, I think about two hours or so. I'm so happy to be out here, so, so, so happy. It just feels so good to be back on the water. I'm so happy to be out here. Well, the last time I was in this area, I saw moose poop. And I saw a big, huge heron hanging out on these logs. I was hoping it was going to be here again today, but so far, nothing. I think I saw a beaver around this area too. He was with um, my friend Eileen. how high the water is here. The last time I was here, I stopped here. There's a big, huge sandbar. You can see it right there. It actually goes out and I stopped on it and had lunch or a snack or something. And now it's just all underwater. Ooh, the bugs are back. Let's stop paddling. Those bugs didn't stand a chance. As I got out into the open water, the wind just started whipping. Well, the wind is actually picking up here quite a bit on my fish. I'm starting to get a couple little rollers, and um, I think it might be a good time to stop for lunch and then make my way back. Guys, getting a bit darker, and you know, there's supposed to be a thunderstorm coming in, so definitely want to be off the water before that happens. Safety first, always. Ugh, in my nose, awesome. Oh, that was lovely. As soon as uh, I got back onto Whitefish, the other part heading towards this way, um. The wind died down, of course, it was behind me. And um, the bugs just started swarming again like crazy. And as you can tell, I just spit one out my nose. Uh, so I decided not to stop. I didn't want to sit there and try to eat my lunch and like have bugs in my mouth. And it just, it wouldn't have been pleasant. So I said, you know what, I'm just gonna kind of paddle through and see if there's a nice spot to stop or somewhere where there aren't too many bugs. Had a couple of places that I paddled through today that have been really good. So when the, the spot arises, I'll just stop there. I seem to found a little nice little section that has no bugs. Um, so I'm gonna have my lunch. I think I'm just gonna kind of paddle along. Uh, the current's taking me a little bit and I uh, just have to paddle every once in a while to kind of keep myself from going into the bushes. So today for lunch I just brought uh, a turkey wrap. Uh, I've got some turkey breast, um, some mayonnaise and some mustard. I've had it in the, the cooler bag on an ice pack. Um, so I can bring that back. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> mm, I'm hungry. <laughs> I also 
also brought um, a big piece of cucumber. Got some chocolate chip cookies that I made yesterday. And then I brought some random, just some salami. And um, a hahamu. <laughs> Wasn't sure what I was going to feel like eating, so brought a couple of different things and then in my backpack I also have some granola bars, some chocolate covered almonds, lots of chocolate of course, always chocolate. Well I managed to finish my lunch in peace. Um, I ate my wrap, I ate about half of the cucumber. It was good, I was starving so I'm um, just gonna have a chocolate chip cookie that I made for dessert. Got a little chocolate drizzly stuff on there and I'm um, gonna enjoy that while I'm coasting along and uh, bugs are starting up again. I'm almost at the dam and back to where the portage is so that's pretty good because it's starting to get a lot darker around. I guess I don't need these anymore. Mm, that's good. <laughs> back at the pog end of the portage. Just going down this hill. <laughs> and uh, yeah, good to go. It's getting darker by the minute. I'm glad I left when I did. There must be something about Pog Lake and the bugs. Mosquitoes just seem to love this place. I'm pretty sure they're mosquitoes. I don't know, they could be black flies too. But as soon as I got back onto Pog, started paddling a little bit, just swarmed. There are so many bugs, like just looking to the left and the right of me, over the water next to my canoe, bouncing off my head. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy, but again, they're not biting. Oh. That one just flew in my eyeball. I love it when I do that. That was really not very nice. Oh, the bugs on my face. <laughs> Going under trees. I'm not paying attention. I'm like paddling like this because if I open my eyes too wide, they fly in there. <laughs> the sunglasses make it worse. They're attracted to that. I don't know if it's the shininess or the black or a combination, but I find when I have my sunglasses on, the bugs just like want to get right in there. So I just took them all. So the bugs are definitely out in Algonquin. <laughs> And um, they're not biting, but it doesn't matter. They're just so annoying. There's just hordes and hordes and hordes of them. And uh, I think they're dying of starvation because there's nobody here. So <laughs> if you're heading to the park, make sure you remember to bring your head net because I forgot mine. I thought I packed it, but I can't find it and uh, try to go on a windy day. <laughs> I just saw two loons, I think. Not 100% if they were loons or ducks. I didn't get a really good look and then they ducked under the water. Mm -hmm. Usually ducks would fly across and kind of take off. Loons would dive under the water, so I'm thinking they're loons. Oh, yes. oh it is a loon. Beautiful. It's standing above the water. 
water very long. Very scared. <laughs> very shy. Okay, I'm getting swarmed just sitting here, so it's my my wildlife sighting of the day next to the fish. There they are. And gone. <laughs> I'm very close to the takeout, and uh, I can hear some kids yelling, so there might be some people at the access. Not sure, but there's nowhere else really near here other than that spot. Um, so I'm just going to do my recap now. Uh, really, really happy I came out paddling here today. So beautiful, even with the hordes and hordes of bugs. Um, and not biting, but still driving me crazy. Um, really happy I just saw those two loons. They're still in front of me. And um, it's just so great to see them, even though I didn't get a chance to hear them. But I'm sure that'll come soon. Um, really happy with this canoe so far. Uh, it is very similar to the one that I had before except that it's Kevlar and um, I love the color. Uh, I took some really nice pictures today that I'm very happy about and um, that's about it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I would really really appreciate it if you like my videos if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, I do have some new affiliates uh, that I'm working with that'll be in the description of the video below. Um, if you do go to, through those links to the um, brand and make a purchase, I do get a small commission off of some of those, so I really would appreciate your support if you're going to buy the stuff anyways. Um, and that's about it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. There's a picnic going on on the beach. <laughs> so I'm glad I did my recap. I am going to sign off now from Algonquin Park, Lake of Two Rivers. Hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you again next time. Take care.